So hello friends. So today we are going to discuss about coupling of exergonic and endergonic reactions. And this is a very bit similar to exothermic and endothermic reactions. Okay, in exothermic reactions we studied that enthalpy change is negative, while in endothermic reactions the enthalpy change is positive. But here in exergonic and endergonic we have to look at gives free energy. Okay, for exergonic reactions, okay, I'm writing here for exergonic reactions. For exergonic, change in gives free energy is negative. Okay, less than zero means it is negative. And for endergonic, for endergonic reaction, the gives change in gives free energy is positive. Uh, that means it is non-spontaneous. Uh, <coughs> we know when the change in gives free energy is positive, <coughs> the process is non-spontaneous, and this is spontaneous. Okay, then. what is coupling okay so <clears throat> when a reaction is non spontaneous then we will have to apply some work to make it spontaneous and and that work is done by this exergonic reaction okay and that process is called coupling to make it more clear i am trying to give you an another example okay so this weight is heavy this weight is heavy and this is lighter okay now if this weight goes down then it will go up we know that this is not its part it won't go upper by itself we will, we have to give some force to go in upward direction okay it is its non spontaneous part okay it is its non spontaneous part but still it's going why because of this because of this heavier weight the same is true for this coupling of exergonic and endergonic reactions okay the higher negative value can force another reaction which is endergonic to go in its non spontaneous part okay so we will give some examples to make it more clear okay so now we are going to give some example okay example number 1 okay in biological system of metabolism glucose must be converted into activated complex of glucose 6 phosphate okay this glucose this glucose must be converted into glucose 6 phosphate okay g6p means glucose 6 phosphate plus h2 but this reaction this reaction is highly endergonic okay that means here g is positive g is positive it is not spontaneous and another reaction which is atp atp okay an atp which is converted into adp okay and plus h3po for but this this is exergonic and this this reaction will force this reaction to go in spontaneous part okay and a coupled reaction we can write it as coupled reaction coupled reaction as glucose plus atp g6p plus adp okay and this overall reaction overall coupled reaction is exergonic that means it is spontaneous okay and another example is the example 2 is chlorination of titanium oxide in the presence of carbon okay this tio2 titanium oxide tcl4 plus o2 this reaction is endergonic okay this reaction is endergonic that means it has gives free energy positive and the, another reaction co2 this negative that means it is exergonic it is highly exergonic it is highly exergonic okay and now the coupled reaction coupled reaction that means this two reaction will form to to increase the spontaneity okay tio2 plus cl2 plus c tcl4 plus cl2 and now 
this coupled reaction is negative that means it is hexagonic and now it is spontaneous first first it was non spontaneous because it has a gives free energy positive that means it is endergonic and this reaction is not possible now if we couple it with another reaction of carbon carbon plus o2 that uh, it is our hexagonic and after coupling this reaction because becomes spontaneous okay take care and goodbye